Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I'm in the tube. You can see Bond Street. That means luxury shopping vlog. So come along. I'm Hannah, and this is So Much Design with Hannah. And yes, it's time for another little luxury shopping vlog. I hope you enjoy this, you guys. And we've got a couple of special, special YouTube friends joining us today. Romina Rose May, check out her channel. If you haven't already, where have you been? And of course, Leslie Adina, again, check out her channel. If you haven't already, why not? Romina and Leslie and I, going to start out with a little bit of breakfast, catch up, have a good chat, and then hopefully <laughs> have a look around the shops as we do. So yeah, let's go. Always stand on the right when you're in London, guys, because people get kind of irate if you don't. And here's a reminder. So I'm just walking to Soho, where I'm going to meet Romina and Leslie. Let's just admire liberty of London as I pass by. It's still got their Christmas trees out. Probably not for long now. Of course, I recently put out a vlog from Liberty. I'll link it above in case you missed it. Just walking through Carnaby Street to get there. It's uh, always a good little shortcut to walk through the Carnaby universe. And they still have their planets up. Of course, these planets are replicated inside Liberty. So yeah, check out my little vlog where you will see that. Let's see. Let's head this way. This is the new bird quarter and it's quite cute actually. So yeah, just walking through the streets of London. Nice. There's some cute little shops here. We've got this one, which is American Classics, not open yet. A Ralph Lauren shop as well. A tea shop. Oba, also a clothing shop. A nice pub if you want to stop. You can see down there, another little alleyway down to Canopy Street. Then we've got this shop, which is called the Red Wing Shoe Shop. Looks like they might have some nice shoes in there. So this is Old Broadwick Street. And I'm headed down here. We're going to meet at the Ivy Soho Grill. Brasserie, I think it's called actually. So yeah, for a little bit of coffee, maybe some brunch. This is Lexington Street and we've got the Jon Snow pub on the corner. Again, if you're a pub fan visiting London, this is quite a good pub. Let's head down here where we're supposed to go. And we've got Poland Street there. If you like sushi, Itza is the place. They've got great, great sushi. Right, here we go, the Ivy Soho Brasserie, which is where we're meeting. They've got a giant polar bear in the front. And there's Leslie. <laughs> looking pretty nice they also have a festive breakfast I think it's too much food though breeze first <laughs> well, how does your husband um... so ended up in Liberty with Leslie Romina wasn't feeling too good there's Leslie <laughs> um, and we just spotted this sale shelf at the end of the store and there might be a bag that I have to buy 
Yeah, have to, just because of the price and because I love the brand, which you might know, which is Stella McCartney. And I have got a few of these ones, but let me show you which one I'm talking about. There you go. In burgundy. We love burgundy. And then we've got the price. Look at the price, you guys. It's pretty much half price. What do you guys think? Does this come home with me? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you get tempted. So yeah, this is the uh, sale shelf that we are just perusing, you guys. To be honest, there aren't that many bags that I would buy, but uh, there are some good offers here, nevertheless. I mean, this silver number from Stella McCartney is pretty cute with the sequin. Mm, yeah, otherwise, mm, not many things grabbing my attention as such. There are these uh, JW Anderson bags which are on sale in all the different colours. I think I called them spaghetti back in another vlog. Leslie is filming and she's got this bag from Liberty. Look at this you guys. It's it's really great colour and the price is excellent. It's like half price? More than half price. Wow, nice shopper. And Leslie is off to the Caribbean. This could be the perfect holiday bag. Yeah, amazing. Okay, let's have a look and see if there's anything new from the last time we went here. Just scanning the room, you guys. These are the APC bags. Just headed down to have a little look at Liberty's own range. This orange and grey number. It looks like felt with the leather. It's quite nice. Apologies for my hair, you guys, because it's gone very frizzy, but it's wet outside, rainy. Want to have a look at J.W. Anderson. Let's see what the discount is on that. Look at this one. And they've got the frog. Hello, froggy. Doop, doop, doop. Hello, froggy. I'm back. So it's 20% off. Here we have some money bags. Do you own any money bags? I don't. I have looked at them before. Some of them are very nice. Anya Hin Marsh. What do we make of Anya Hin Marsh bags? What do you guys think? There are some funny little pochettes and things like this carry on things for luggage, vanity. I think they're quite fun. Then you've got another vanity, this is a burgundy one. Uh, holds everything for glasses, sunglasses essentials, makeup. I showed you this in my last Liberty video vlog. But yeah, the Christmas stuff is still up. As the sales have hit, there's Leslie. And here we have the Demilia bags. Normally a very good price point, and obviously they're giving that quite luxury and Celine vibes. What do you think of the Demilia bags? Do you have any? Do you recommend them? Let me know in the comments below.
back here at Luewe. I think we'll go inside this time, Leslie and I, to see, see if we can see some of the collection in real life. Let's go. Cute little raffia bag in brown with the lima on the front. Small tote, very nice. Also comes in green, I believe. And the puzzle bag with the same little character on the front. The flamingo bag swing on this little character swing, I guess. Very fun. Not sure what this bag is called. If you know, let me know in the comments. Unfortunately, I'm being told off by the security guard, so I'm just trying to get some last footage for you guys. Real shame, you know, because <laughs> there's so much I want to show you. Leslie might have captured some complimentary footage, so make sure that you check out her channel when her video goes up. It's all colour mania. Look at the wall, you guys. All of the primary colours. And look at this little keypole charms. The red and the orange. Just pops and little Vivians. Also in red and orange. Love this collection. How extra is this glasses case? This little Go 14 is so super cute. There's so many new versions of the Alma, and this is very cute with the quilting. Yeah, very nice. quite busy here as you can see we're in New Bond Street now just Leslie and I yeah trying to get a bit of footage for you guys it's a bit tricky today to be honest we've decided to go into Ferragamo because they still have a sale on I was invited to their preview sale but unfortunately I was ill so yeah now's the opportunity to have a good look Shoes are heavily discounted, some of them way up to 50% and most of the handbags that are in this part of the shop are discounted with around 30%, so really good actually. There are several of the Wanda in different sizes, this lovely blue and green, they've got the light blue and many other colours. Even the classic top handle in all of the colours is discounted. Look at the black and the red. Lovely. And then we've got the Wanda with the orange and the red. Ombre. Lovely. Admittedly, I didn't know that Ferragamo does perfume, but they do. Very beautiful. And is this like a patent? Or a, yeah. yeah, patent. Or patent. Really beautiful. Such a beautiful piece. Look at the chain as well. Uh, yeah, the sales associate told me that this is a special limited edition piece. It's 
So that was Ferragamo. They've got a sail on. There's some bargains to be had for sure. Some of their classic bags, the Wonder Bag, the Top Handle classic bag in the small size. Um, shoes, 50%. Bags, I think they said 30%. It's really windy now, as you can see. <laughs> and uh, behind me, we've got Leslie doing her vlogging. Yeah, so there you go. Excuse my appearance. Let's keep it real. <laughs> a little luxury shopping vlog from London with Leslie. I think I've got a little bit of footage, not as much as we I'd were liked. rubbish today at filming. Yeah, yeah, but I also think we were being put off a bit by the store security constantly kind of following you around. Certainly in Loewe. Yeah, Loewe was. Yeah, that was, that was that a bit. That surprised kind of, me because it was empty. They should yeah, be grateful for us I filming. Know. I don't know. As always, they were super nice in Ferragamo. Yeah. So we got a little bit in there. Uh, Louis Vuitton, hit and miss, but there you go. But it was lovely to see Leslie, yes. and of course, if you haven't followed Leslie, check out her channel. I'm now. so close to, four, <laughs> oh, somewhat close to 4,000 subscribers, so if you can help me get there, that would be amazing. Yes, please do. And let's get Hannah to 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. But uh, yeah, we'll take one day at a time, one video at a time. So on my way home now, you guys, I thought I'd just, yeah. So the reason why I went into Liberty was to get a new umbrella. And I purchased this one with the lovely Liberty print design on it. Love this umbrella. Um, yeah, a bonus that I hadn't accounted for. And the wonderful Leslie gave me a present. Let me just show it to you. It's down here. Pate a Tartinier L'Opera straight from Paris. How thoughtful. And not only that, she got me these cake and flowers chocolates from the Dorchester. How fancy is that? And look how delicious these look. Wowzers. Beautiful chocolates. My hair's gone from bad to worse, you guys, with this wind and rain. Never mind, let's keep it real. So yeah, a wonderful time in Ferragamo. Had a long conversation with the sales associate about Ferragamo history and design of the brand. And fun fact, they are one of the only family owned luxury brands still which I didn't actually know, and that was quite enlightening. Uh, we, of course, got to talk about the wonderful store in Florence, which I visited recently in my Italy vlogs. Um, I will link the video in case you missed it, because in that video, I also went to the Ferragamo Museum with the beauties that were in that exhibition. Absolutely loved it. The history of the Ferragamo brand is just outstanding. So of course Ferragamo started out as a shoemaker and maybe that's what people associate with the brand more than anything else. I don't know, tell me in the comments. What do you associate the Ferragamo brand with? Um, but I would say shoes and uh, now obviously also their iconic uh, handbags too. But the handbags came after the shoes and were actually introduced after Ferragamo's death uh, by his uh, wife, uh, Wanda, who uh, came up with the Wanda bag. Yeah, I love the Wanda bag. It's really cute. And it's on sale at the moment, so I'm really thinking about it. Just not in the colors that I really want, I think, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, so Ferragamo has a design house, and given that my channel is, is so much design, it's obvious for me to bring out a few points about Ferragamo, I think. And I think really the story around the craftsmanship. So one of the things that the uh, associate at Ferragamo told me was that all of the leathers used in Ferragamo's designs are sourced in Italy and also 
produced and manufactured in Italy still. Um, and that's quite unique because some of the luxury design houses only partly manufacture in Italy and can still put made in Italy on their goods. Uh, Ferragamo produces everything in Italy. That is quite nice to know, I think, because you can rely on the quality, I guess, and the craftsmanship. So I think that's one point. And the other point that she also made was how he essentially learnt the craft himself. He was born in Naples. He then moved to uh, America and essentially ended up designing footwear for all of the big stars in Hollywood in the 30s. And then he settled back in Florence and uh, the obviously the Ferragamo store in Florence is this beautiful palazzo where the Ferragamo Museum also is, um, which I absolutely enjoyed so much when I was there. It was one of the highlights of our Florence trip. Um, really beautiful and I highly recommend if you go to Florence to go and visit that museum because it's it's just so interesting. Also have to say that Ferragamo is really the luxury brand that captured my imagination this year. Um, I don't know why, but it just did. <laughs> I think also because they are so super friendly and nice and give you really um, all their time in the store and they don't mind you filming either, which is a good thing as a vlogger. <laughs> uh, I guess I can call myself that to some extent. And uh, they no, they don't take offense to you filming, which is really good. That's it, you guys, for this little luxury shopping vlog from London town. If you enjoyed it, please give it some thumbs up love. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment to consider to hit that notification bell. It would mean the world to me. See you in my next one.